Hello, today I'm going to show you how I make this simple crochet cup cozy. It's a pattern that I have free on my blog, or you can purchase the PDF pattern in my Etsy shop. I'm just going to go over the steps with you on how I make it. If you'd like more details on the pattern, just click on the link that's in the video description. All right, let's jump right into the pattern. We're going to start with a chain of 30. This is going to be for the standard size cup, but you can always adjust that number if needed. You want to be sure not to twist your stitches and then join into the round using a slip stitch. Okay, round one is to single crochet into each chain stitch. Now you can single crochet here into the normal spot, or you can turn the chain stitches slightly to reveal the back bump, and you can actually single crochet into the back bump instead. If you do this, it makes the bottom edge of the cozy look similar to the top edge of the cozy. So this is the method that I normally do when I make my cozies, but there's nothing wrong with just single crocheting into each chain stitch as you normally would. It's really just maker preference. Okay, so now I am on my last stitch of round one. I'm just going to single crochet into that last back bump and then I'm just going to join my cozy in the round and just make sure your stitches aren't twisted so you have the bottom there and then you're just going to slip stitch to join it in the round. Okay let's start round two. We're going to chain one and then we're going to single crochet into the back loop only. So here is our stitch right there and we're going to be inserting in between the two loops and single crocheting onto that back loop only. I will be showing you this again in a little bit closer so you can see better. Here we have our stitch, we that loop right there. There's the front loop is here. Then we have our back loop. We're gonna be inserting in between those two loops so that we're only single crocheting into the back loop. We're gonna single crochet into the back loop for the remainder of this round. And when we get back to the beginning, which I will be there in just one moment. Here I am back at the beginning, where I guess this is now the end of the round, and I'm going to do my last single crochet into the back loop only. And then in this pattern, the chain one does not count as a stitch. That's our chain one. This is the top of that first single crochet. I'm going to join here with a slip stitch. And this is how I like to make my cozies. I just join with a slip stitch, and then I'm going to start the next round with a chain one. Now we're on round three, which is just to repeat round two. So we're going to single crochet into the back loop only for this round. Meet you guys back at the end to start on round four. Okay, so let's start round four, which is starting with a chain one. And then we're going to half double crochet into each stitch around. This is the end of round four. And for rounds five through 10, we're just going to be repeating round four. So we're just going to half double crochet for the next six rounds. Okay, so now we are on round 11, it's going to start with a chain one, and then we're going to be single crocheting into each stitch, and then we'll join at the end of the round with a slip stitch. And these single crochets are just going into the normal spot, just under the two loops from the stitches below. Okay, so this is the end of round 11. And I'm just getting my last couple of single crochets in. And then we're going to join in the round with a slip stitch. And we're going to start round 12. So for round 12, we're going to do that chain one. And then we're going to be single crocheting into the back loop only. And we're going to be doing this for round 12 and round 13. And I will meet you guys at the end of this round to start round 13 with you. 
and just like that we're at round 13 so we're going to do a repeat of round 12 so chain one and then we're going to single crochet into the back loop only until we get to the end of this round okay so now we are at the last i already did my last stitch of round 13 and instead of joining with a slip stitch i cut my yarn i'm going to pull it through and then I'm going to use my darning needle to create the top of that last stitch. This kind of gives you a seamless join. So you just kind of use your darning needle to create that last stitch. It makes the top of it kind of look like it all just came together without any seam. Then I'm going to weave in my yarn tails. So I take each tail and I kind of weave them in to meet into the middle and then I tie it in a knot. to add some finishing touches I used one of my vegan suede love tags and a little crochet heart and I'm going to package it here with my little valentine cup cozy printable just since it's so close to valentine's day I hope you guys liked this video and found this pattern to be one that was fun and easy to do if you want more information again everything is in the video description I have the pattern for free on my blog and you can also find a pdf version of this in my Etsy shop